Hello everybody, this is BeastCat100 here with Gorilla Master 4 over here. <laughs> I, 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 why did that, why is that one so distorted you can't understand anything? Like not even <laughs> anything remotely close to anything. I mean, you were supposed to sound like a gorilla. I think it did its job. Well, anyway, I am no Chris Master 4, what you said. And welcome back to some more Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Friday's Attorney. In the previous episode, we had wrapped up a section of the trial, and we have indicted our final witness, Jean Grail. Ha <laughs> ha! And the battle shall begin after the, the pre-trial talks. So, if you like what you see, leave a like down below, comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me and Chris if you haven't already. Click those bells so you're notified of everything that we do when we do it. And share with your friends so they can join in on this adventure. Let's... Move. Let's get moving! Let's get moving! This is definitely you. Okay. This is it. Maya's trial. They're finally able to make some headway in this case. Seems like they're trying to accuse her of that other incident, too. We're dealing with one tough customer. In, in, okay. Um, the real culprit is a witch. That much I'm certain of. But the question is who? I think I know the answer. The butler did! <laughs> Jean Grey Arrow! If they think I'm gonna let them take Maya, they've got another thing coming. Good reference. Good fucking reference. <laughs> hey! Hi, Layton. Are you Rob? Yeah. So it's gotta be that, um, young butler. I know what you're thinking. I, I couldn't quite believe it at first either. But. The evidence and circumstance all point to the butler. He, or she, has to be the witch. At least... It'll be certain that the magic gems turns out to be a fake. Oh uh, yeah, they also ripped out a page of the Salem Witch Trials. Yeah, I... I, I, I <laughs> watching it and then you're just like, your realization, you're like, Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> What you're doing there. I see what you're doing there. I see. Mm. Anyway, Maya. But if that's the case, then Baldic's mother was also. Yeah, it would be Grail. No, it can't be true. He wouldn't have done that. Spella? I know, Jean. He held Sir Bell Duke in the greatest of respect. Jean didn't kill him. I'm sure of it. Jean Grail, are you really what people think you are? There are still so many unknown factors in this trial. I'm going to boost up the, the game audio just a slight bit. Okay, I'm not going to touch anything else. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Hi, Luke. Hi, hi, Luke. It's Luke! Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Maya, I'm glad that you're not the detective in this case. <laughs> I... I'm sorry, Maya! What I did was unforgivable! Uh... You're what? sure right about that. Into the flames. What? Not again! <laughs> what are you saying, Luke? All you did was testify about what you saw. <laughs> what? 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 I, I should have trusted you. Well, you trust us now, right? No, not at all. Fuck all you. <laughs> well, Layton's not back yet, so... <laughs> Maya... Anyway, Luke, it was thanks to you that we discovered new information. 
Shut up, dog! Um, thanks to... <laughs> thanks... <clears throat> thanks to me? Oh, fuck. What? Oh, that's gonna be clusterfuck of a layout. Because I think, I think Luke is coming back with us to the fucking defense bench. Here uh, comes a new challenger! Rob's seventh layout! Jesus! The series. <laughs> sure, you got to try to testify. That was a great idea. I wish I could talk to animals. Don't you too, Isabella? Oh, yes. I'd love to have a chat with Eve. Mm. A funny thing about that. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> so Luke, will you teach us how to do it, pretty please? Oh, way to set up way to set up something and then not deliver at all. <laughs> there's some joke there's some connection in there somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, of course. I can try. Yay, that's a promise, right? Luke. Um, Mr. Why? Hmm? What is it, Luke? Do you mind if I join you from now on? No. Absolutely not. Into the flames with you. Into the flames? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me kick you into the flames again. Oh, god damn it. I'm not sure how you keep coming out of the flames <laughs> to begin with. It's like the third time. Reluctantly, not at all, Luke. <sighs> I realized during the trial that in this strange town, even what you see with your own eyes may not be real. That's why I'm not giving up yet. Professor, I know he'll return. We can't give up hope. You know, that's what I've been thinking too. Really? I have a feeling he'll reappear again when we get in trouble and help us out. Because, I mean, it's a professor we're talking about here. Because, I mean, that's how these games work. <laughs> because, protagonist. <laughs> because, protagonist. Right! And remember what he always says. <laughs> My side. my side, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Got that link. Yeah. Look towards the, uh, the look forward to the future. Always look on the bright side of death. Of death, yeah. Thank you, Life of Brian. Uh, I mean, I, I thought we were going for fucking Monty Python, but okay. Yeah, Monty Python, Life of Brian. Oh. Uh, I don't think it was the professor who said that. You find the keys. The emission Z we retain to the cute room. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, British <laughs> bloody hell! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go again. Just leaving Luke to die. <laughs> just acting like nothing's happened. It's time to bring this trial to a close, finally. Something for you, Mr. Roy. Yeah, take please take it. Maybe it'll come in handy in the trial. A letter, huh? Let's see who it's from. Wait. Newton Bell Duke! There are several sheets of parchment inside, but they're all blank. The professor and I got this when we went to see the storyteller. Who's a huge Thank dick, you. by the way? <laughs> Yeah, like, he, he tried to, he, he literally was the reason why Professor was made in gold, but, okay. Okay, I guess you don't care. <laughs> the more info we have, the better. You're welcome. I've got no proof it was Jean Verrill who turned the professor into gold. Even if the magic gem was a fake, it's still not decisive evidence. 
I don't know <laughs> what will happen next, but I do know that the battle is far from over. I don't know. <laughs> Powering, wait, 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 wait. Powering down. Good. Okay, everybody, shut up. We will now resume the trial of Maya Fey. First things first, the occult crime analysts have finished examining the evidence. Not analysts. <laughs> yeah, good job on that, Rob. Yeah. They have tested the, the two magic gems from the witch's scepter. They have tested them. Gold ore floated on the surface of the water. Grew as familiar. Sank. Yep. Okay. It was said that genuine magic gems floating more. We saw that, yes. Thus, it has been established that the familiar magic gem is a fake. Oh my god! Oh no, there's no witnesses on the stand. Order! Order! Order in the court! <laughs> because they all got thrown into the fire. <laughs> Man, that fire's uh, getting a lot of kindling lately. Oh, yeah. This does not prove that Godor was used, of course. Nonetheless, the defense's theory does now seem more plausible. This court considers it worth looking into. You have no objection to that? Do you, Inquisitor Barnum? Is it freezing? Whenever I've, whenever I've held on to a line longer than usual, that's when it freezes. Great. Well, our connection seems good. I don't I have know. No idea what that could be. Well, what about Noble Lord? <laughs> Fucking sleepy head. It's just your fucking no, mouth, no. right? Why can you hear me? <laughs> Everybody can hear you. Ah! <laughs> now then, bring in the wits. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello, another Chris voice. <laughs> yep. Hello, the eighth Chris voice today. <laughs> Woo! Witness, state, state your name and profession. My name is John Gray Earl. I serve the late Mats to Beldu. Since his death, I have intended to his dwell to his dwelling and putting his research materials in order. Hmm? Hmm. I don't know what it is, but I feel like there's something a bit different about Grey Earl today. We're off to a great start here. Hell yeah! A bit different. A bit different, huh? What, is he wearing a different tie? Not tie, like outfit. Because it's purple. Instead of red. Witness, there is something we need to clarify first of all. As you are no doubt aware, you have been accused of being a witch. Therefore, it's vital that you tell us. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Pokemon! You <laughs> haven't prepared her for this! <laughs> Please hold. Please what? You, you just whips out her Game Boy. <laughs> Why? Why? What is it? Excuse my rudeness, my lord, but at this time, I do not intend to answer that question. <clears throat> Why do you refuse to answer? Witness. I had been following his trial, this trial from the gallery, and so I am fully aware of the utterly absurd accusations made against me. Alchemy, the art pursued by Master Beldu, is concerned with the rules and logic that govern nature. 
someone who had been helping Master Galdik from, for quite some time. I dare say. Wow, it's freezing a lot. Oh boy. Your theory is illogical and impossible. You want to reset the call? We just started the call! I know. Okay, fuck it, bo Okay. Alright. Calm down there, Discord. Well, yes, we ended the call and my discord, like, just completely freaked out and reset itself. So oh boy, I don't know if that was part of the problem. Maybe. I mean, that's what happened with me that mm. one time and that's when it fixed itself. We'll take a look. Let's see how it goes. Uh, theory is both illogical and qu quite impossible. Objection. Yes. Objection! The witch's scepter was thrown into the crime scene through a portal created by the magic spell Godor. The portal could have only been opened from your room. And what's more, one of the walls in your room is painted green! I believe anyone is free to paint their walls in whichever color they please. Besides, your theory relies on one magic gem being a fake. That may have been proven true. The other, qu another question has arisen: Where could the genuine magic gem be? See, I actually thought of this, but uh, apparently my brain isn't projecting the right words out. So uh, I <laughs> guess I didn't remember. <laughs> it, it must have been swapped with the fake one and discarded somewhere. I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? If we assume, as you've claimed, that the witch used the spell Godor, that would mean the magic gem must have been swapped after creating the portal. So tell me, when and where would the witch have disposed of the magic gem? In the room that it used it in? Before you dropped the Talia Magica down? Like, it, is, is, it, am I wrong, or...? You're not, you're not wrong, but it is a really, really small amount of time in order to f to make that swap, you know? Well, how long did the portal stay up? For, like, five minutes? The portal stays up for five minutes, but here's the thing. In, in the actual cutscene, we heard the yeah. spell being cast, and immediately the door was thrown open. So, like, I can see, um his point about there not being time to switch out the gems before the, the staff was thrown into the room. I see your point. Hmm. Several people paid witness to the incident and the Knights of the Inquisition arrived at the scene immediately after. During that time, no one left the building and the whole place was meticulously searched. Naturally. My room was searched as well, although there was not much to see as I have a few personal belongings. Despite our inspection, nothing resembling a magic gem was found. I assure you, we have not overlooked anything. I would swear to it on my honor as a knight. On, on my, my honor, honor as, as a knight. knight. <laughs> on my honor. On my honor. <laughs> Fable! Mm. Oh, wait a minute. No, that was... I'm a... That was Fates no, 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 Abridged. No. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, right, that was Fates Abridged. Because it was Patrick. Abridged. No, it was Patrick. On my honor as a knight. On my honor as a knight. Yeah, no, it was Patrick. Yeah. Uh, but no, I was saying, oh, wait, because I'm a fucking idiot. Oh. He's staring at me right in the face. Oh? <laughs> tell me, tell me what you figured out. Um, something is staring at me right in the face, is what I'm seeing. Alright. Um... Keep going. So, <clears throat> so, Mr. Wright, if you wish to accuse me of being a witch... Should you not first prove that there is a connection between me and this missing magic gem? Furthermore, I would appreciate it if you could please approach the matter 
in a rational way, like an alchemist. The house was searched very soon after the crime. If the gem wasn't found, then it means Grail hid it somewhere. Somewhere the Knights of the Inquisition would not have looked. Where could it be? The witnesses made a valid argument. How would the defense respond? The knights who searched Sir Breldig's premises weren't looking for a magic gem. That's why there is a certain place they didn't consider searching. Interesting. You really don't give up easily, do you? <laughs> In that case, perhaps you could tell us all where the magic gem is. The third option! Mm-hmm. Sir Belgic's premises were thoroughly searched. I don't think anything would have been missed there. You anticipated that, and that's why you hid it in a blind spot that you knew the that wouldn't occur to the knights. A blind spot, you say? Well, where is it? It's somewhere on Jean Grail's person. What? It's on the witness? Don't tell me. The witness has it in their pocket. You're just guessing, aren't you? You think that you can say anything you like. By the way, I'm afraid there are no pockets in my clothing. <laughs> this is the second time I've seen Grail today. Both times I had a feeling that something wasn't quite right. Maybe it's just me. But it could be related to the whereabouts of the magic gem. Hmm. Maybe it is, I don't know. Defense, show us the location of the magic gem. Where do you think this witness hid the magic gem on the day of the crime? Where is it? <laughs> I don't know, Rob. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. Where is it, Rob? You see why I asked you to take a look at the picture at the end of the last yeah. episode? Yeah, it's really... It, you can't tell with that picture, though. You, like, it's barely hard to tell that unless it's, like, a different color of shirt. Well... Because, like, really, you can't see below the, the like, collar. That color that you were talking about that was the actual brooch oh mm -hmm. got it witness <laughs> where is it <laughs> where is it <laughs> it's still in my head we met for the first time at sir bell duke's premises you see yeah at that time, you had an amethyst attached to your collar. Oh, that's right! Mr. Grail always wears that gemstone. Alchemists believe that amethysts emit positive energy. Is that why the fat one's always very hyper? <laughs> okay. No. No. <laughs> amethysts are purple. She is that way, yes. Um, but <laughs> but when I saw you in the waiting room this morning, and a turquoise. The gemstone you're oh. wearing, green, not purple. Okay, it looked turquoise. It looked, and now, it looked bluish. And now he doesn't have it at all. There you go. <laughs> so my question now is this. Where has it gone? Where is that amethyst that you supposedly always wear? Objection! Objection! Wait, wait just a minute. The witness wears a purple gemstone. Is something amiss, Inquisitor Barnum? I think he's piecing it together. Mm-hmm. When we arrived at the crime scene, the witness came out to meet us. He was wearing the green one. 
I recall the witness wearing a gemstone, but that gemstone was green. Green? Amethysts aren't green. <laughs> Though amateurs are sometimes mistake chrysolite for an amethyst, but that's irrelevant now. Amethysts aren't green. Witness. You've been trying to pin the blame on the defendants. In order to do that, you replace the Godar magic gem with the regular gemstone. We thought the witch who killed Sir Belduc had used the spell Famalia. You knew that if you were a witch, if witch accepted with Famalia and Godar magic gems attached was discovered at the crime scene. That was a that was a fragment of a sentence. Yeah. The suspected would be accused of committing both crimes, and that's precisely what happened. The girl captured at the crime scene was accused of slaying both Sir Belduc and Sir Leighton. That was your plan. You removed the Godor magic stone from the scepter and inserted your amethyst in its place. And then, you attach the Godor Magic Gem to your collar! That's why, when we saw you shortly after the incident, you were wearing a green gemstone. To think that it was in fact a magic gem! Order! Order! Witness, is that true? I can barely hear the game. I can barely hear it. Yeah. That's gotta be on your... I can't turn it up anymore, otherwise you're gonna be drowned out. Hmm. This amounts to nothing more than conjecture. I do not believe you have any solid proof. However... I have to concede that you have surmised a logical connection between me and the missing magic gem. Consequently... I am prepared to answer your questions. Hmm. Good. I will repeat what I asked you previously. Witness, state your name, profession, and finally, your gender. And this is going to answer your, your question of why Phoenix was not voiced at the end of the last episode. My name is... Jean Grail, I have been serving the late Master Bell Duke. As you can see, I wear a butler's outfit, but the truth is, as the defense claims, I am a girl. Sudden voice change, huh? Uh huh. That's one of the reasons why Phoenix was not voiced last time, because if we heard how it was pronounced, it would have ruined the surprise. True, true. And John oh, and that's Jean. Why a fanboy verse, verse, verse shit. Here we go. Here we go. Rob's wife through here. <laughs> Much better. Unbelievable. <laughs> what? <laughs> the concept, not the character. <laughs> I know she's like what, fifteen? Uh... <laughs> That means nothing in Japan, and you know it. A girl can do more than cook. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't believe that. Let's put that out there right now. <laughs> that was that was for the joke. <laughs> this is a for it's, it's a joke. Like, it's a joke. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm choking. Not joking. <laughs> ah. Oh, order. Order, I need some water. Ugh. Water, water. <laughs> water in the court. <laughs> you okay? Water in the court? <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> fucking, I almost fucking choked drinking the water. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> anyway, order in the court. Shit, how does she pronounce it? Uh, Jean Who's Grail. Okay. No, Jean. Jean Grail. Are you declaring this court 
that you're in fact female. Do you want to yes. keep it? Okay. Well, <laughs> it's well, it's supposed to be a femboy voice, so it's feminine and also masculine at the same time. No, but she switched back she, to female. True, but like she raised her voice pitch like half an octave. <laughs> So, it's not that much different. I mean, I'll probably make it a little bit higher pitched. Also, also, what the judge just said, I'm pretty sure it was like early stages of Tumblr. <laughs> Are you declaring that you are in fact a girl? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But everyone in town was under the impression that you're a boy. That was the fucking point, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what cross-dressing does. Uh, to those who can do it well. True. <laughs> uh, did you hear that? The butt was a girl. Doesn't that make him or her a maid? I knew there was something suspicious about him. I mean, her. Welcome to 2019. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Welcome to the past three years. Uh, you know what, right? Think about it. All that alchemy, that's mighty suspicious. No. <laughs> <laughs> mighty suspicious, pal. Uh, just listen to them. Listen to the wild gossip and accusations. Alchemists pursue knowledge of the rules to govern nature. But to the townspeople, alchemy is no different to magic. Had they known I was a girl, they would have taken me for a witch. <coughs> that's, that's what Master Belduk was worried about. Told me it'd be safer to pretend to be a boy. So opposite Shihiro, gotcha. In other words... Yeah, that was a problem. That was a problem with this game. Specifically the programming, that the crowd noise will keep going on until somebody slams something. Yeah, I, I, I think I remember that. I, did, I, that I, did that also happen in Dual Destinies, or am I mistaken? I don't remember. It's been a while since I played Dual Destinies. It's entirely possible, though. In other words... You disclose that you're a female, but you deny that you're a witch? Who would have thought that was obvious? Hmm. She knew that once her gender came into question, she wouldn't be able to conceal it. Again. Just like media nowadays. Uh. That's why she made this public now. It was the most rational choice for her. So she's just fucking Spock? What? All about logic and logic and rationalizing. There are so many other references you could have gone with that. <laughs> there have been. I mean, I could have made a reference to the Miles Edgeworth games. Yeah, that at least would have been re relatable. No, the first thing that came to mind was Spock, so All I right. just went with it. Fem Spock. Fem <laughs> Spock. Inquisitor Bonham, may I ask you one question? Has all the evidence in this Golden Gentleman case already been presented? What do you ask? As it stands, you do not have a single piece of evidence proving that I am a witch. Given the lack of pertinent evidence against me, I would like to be permitted to return to my duties. She's running. My, the, her feminine duties. Yeah. What, what you say, you, Inquisitor Bonham? It has been proven that the two gems were swapped. However, I'm, it may also have been possible for the accused to have done so. Objection. Maya had no reason to swap the gems. This is a place of judgment. There's no need for us to understand the reasons behind a criminal's actions. Yes, there is, you <laughs> fucking idiot! Motive! Yeah, it's called motive. <laughs> huh? After all, those whom we judge are otherworldly creatures. They are witches. 
It is impossible for a human being to understand the reasoning of a witch. <laughs> is there nothing we can do? At this rate, Maya will be. Hmm. Barnum still thinks Maya is a witch. We've made it this far, and yet it feels like we're back at stage one. Seems there are no more rational arguments against me. Now, if you'll kindly excuse me. I don't have much on Grayo when it comes to the professor's case. But should I just let her go? Ah. <laughs> uh, what? Well, hold on. Well, we don't. We, we we actually don't have any evidence against her for this case, so we should probably ask her about the details of the last case. And yeah. See if there's any Although we don't know much about the last case. Also true. So we get to know more information about that and see where the fucking contradictions lie. There we go. Mm. There's nothing else I can follow up on regarding the professor's case. So what can I do? There's only one other option. Miss Gray Arrow, I have to ask you to remain at the witness stand. Is there something else you wish to ask me? Your testimony is not over yet. There's still something you need to tell us about. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I cannot help you. I have told you all that I could about this incident. Mm-mm-mm. I'm afraid you've got the wrong idea, Miss Grayerall. Hmm. Your Honor, what is what this witness needs to testify about is not the professor's unfortunate accident incident, but rather the incident from three months ago, namely Sir Belduke's death. As she was present in the building at the time, working as the live-in live -in butler, she needs to testify about the events of that day. About Sir Belduke's death? The fact that one of the magic gems was swapped leads me to a single conclusion. Both crimes, the murder of Sir Belduke and the transmutation of the professor, were the work of the same witch. The truth behind this alchemist's death may also hold the answer to this case. Hmm. This is Chris Speaks, the, the section. <laughs> what is your opinion on this, Inquisitor Barnum? Okay, nothing good. I guess I get to speak more. Yay! <laughs> I'll allow you have... Uh, I'll allow you to have your way this time, Sir Blue Knight. The Inquisition has no objections. But I do. Shut up. Inquisitor Zacharias Barnum. It seems you have lost that unyielding attitude you are so admired by the townspeople. Here you are now, letting a novice defender lead you by the nose. It is hard to believe you have been known as unwavering sort of justice for your usual full-headed judgment. You know little about me, witness. Do you think I care about defending my name? It is this town I wish to defend. Sir Belluk's murder is the only case to have remained unsolved for so long. Jean Grail, you should testify about it now. The moment where the prosecution is on our side, kind of. Mm -hmm. Or Inquisition, rather. Yeah, same difference. Same difference. As demanded by both the defense and the Inquisition, the witness will testify about Sir Belduke's defense. Are you fucking kidding? Death. <laughs> Any questions? Death. <laughs> Death. No, my lord. 
Fuck you, defense. I must, however, mention one more thing before we... He just... Only Barnum replied and not Phoenix, and he's just going. Phoenix was... Phoenix was the one that brought it up in the first place. Hmm. It cannot be proven that Jean Grey is a witness as... Er, if it cannot be proved that Jean Grey is a witch as claimed by the defense... The court will irrevocably consider Maya Faye to be the witch responsible for both crimes. Is that understood? You have no choice, Sir Blue Knight. If you don't want to try to end right now, ready your sword and face the charge that awaits. <sighs> but the opponent is a real witch! It's a gamble that puts Maya's life at stake. Nick? Nick? M Maya! No witch is gonna outwit you in court. You're an ace attorney after all. Time drop. Time. <laughs> so, let's do it. I like her also, face. Huh? Yeah, that's a good face. No, I was gonna say, Maya, also, you're supposed to shut up in there. Shh, it's fine. It's support. It's support. <clears throat> S rank. Mm. Um, or rather, A rank. A plus rank. Uh, the defense accepts the conditions. Let's proceed with the trial. Huh. Inquisitor Barnum, you may begin. Finally. Fish. Took long enough to get to this point. We start with. Mm -hmm. We should start with a brief summary of the incident. Uh, can we not? <laughs> can we not? <laughs> Are we gonna do that next time? Yeah, we're gonna do that next episode. Good. <laughs> because we're coming on forty. We're coming on. Well, we're. Excuse me. We just passed forty-two minutes. So. <laughs> And with all the, the call stuff, it'll probably be like a 40-minute episode. So, we've been playing for 20 hours. Yes. Yes, we have. And Almost still going. and a half hours. And still going. Meanwhile, my actual save file was 24. <laughs> because we fuck around a lot. Yeah, it's fun. Either it way. Fun. Thank you guys for watching. <clears throat> and see you guys later. Goodbye!